Hi, this is Vicki Gilforth Parnell, and I have come to share a short dream the Lord gave me. Um, this dream came on 3-8-23 at 7-08 p.m. A.M. Excuse me, A.M. Today is 3-10-23. And this is called City in the Cloud Dream. But before I start, I would like to pray. And please pray with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I come before you in Holy Spirit. I ask that you lead this this prayer lead this dream anoint me as i do this lord and father god again i pray shut me down if this is not from you because i have laid this before you and i've been praying and seeking you and i know that you are good in all things and you are truth and that nothing can penetrate that blood of jesus and i pray that over my mind before sleeping prayed over myself continually and I, i pray daily lord search my heart try my thoughts know me if there be any wicked way move it out Lord, don't let me be deceived, deceive myself, and deceive others. Create in me a clean heart. Psalm 51, I pray over myself. And forgive me my sins, my presumptuous sins, secret faults. Keep me from presumptuous sins. God, you are holy and just. You are righteous. You are amazing, God. Jesus, you are everything we need. You are my husband, the lover of my soul, my strong tower. My strong tower, my shield, my defense. You are my defender vengeance is mine thus saith the lord i will recompense i don't have to worry about anything you've got it god just take over now lord i do pray for those that rise up against me that you hold it not to their charge and i know there's some you have said not to talk about but the others lord i am praying mercy and judgment mercy and judgment now father god every plot gin snare device arrow and Jen, for those that don't know, it is a trap that you trap animals in. Father, in the name of Jesus, every magic, all types of magic, black magic, white magic, you know, ancient magic, dark, does not matter. I bind it all in the name of Jesus. I bind it and cause it to be no effect and send it back on the cinder a hundredfold by the spiritual law. And Lord, again, I pray that if anybody's trying to do that again, let those demons they are summoning just turn on them in Jesus' name. And now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I loose the Holy Spirit to do whatever he wants, meaning I have no restrictions on him. Holy Spirit, you are free. Father God, you are free to do whatever you want in my life. And in this video, this is yours. I dedicate it to you, Father, in Jesus' name, as I do each and every one before I get on here. Now, Father God, I pray that you open up the eyes of your children and even those not yet saved and the ears. Let them hear the truth and the hearts, Lord. And those who are called, calling you their Lord, whose heads are still stuck in the sand. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Now, Father God, every demonic attack, every demonic scheme, or every spirit that's been assigned against this ministry and against me, and all I love and all I have prayed for, and you know what I'm talking about, Father. Father God, again, every new contract that's been sent out, every ley line I cancel and cut, in the name of Jesus, several cords are trying to be reconstructed. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I bind them, I crush them, I burn them, in the name of Jesus, with Holy Ghost fire, I ask the fire of God come down and do that, Lord. But according to your will. According to your will, Father. You know what needs to stay? You need to know what you you know all things. Now, Father God, I take every demonic spirit and entity, every demon that would try to come against this video, come against me and my family, every assignment, Lord. I wrap them in everlasting chains dipped in the glorified, fortified blood of Jesus, meaning the glory of glorified blood of jesus that blood when he arose he was glorified when he arose from the grave he was glorified and the glory of god strengthened by the holy spirit the glorified fortified blood of jesus Lord, let us understand how powerful your blood is jesus and how powerful your name is that it causes demons to convulse and fear and tremble in terror start terror when a true child of God speaks it and knows to whom know who they are in you. So Lord, I give you praise for that. So I wrap you in everlasting chains, these everlasting chains according to Jude one six and according to Matthew eighteen eighteen. 
Whatsoever shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. And then I do stand on Luke ten nineteen because I'm going to chop off your heads. And I'm going to tread upon you. I'm going to stomp all over you in the name of Jesus. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means harm you. And yes, I know that means other things. But I'm also taking it literally because I can tread upon these things. These spirits in Jesus name. And now I take you cast and bound in front of hell's gates. As a sign to all who go back and forth. That travel back and forth in Jesus name. And I have forever seen Jesus as Lord. So that you can convulse in terror throughout your all eternity. Till the time of judgment and from, from your time of being thrown to the lake of fire. In Jesus name. And I pray also as that song is being sung. And you're convulsing in stark terror. Seeing how Satan is the angel of music. Even though he's fallen. Let it reverberate throughout his pipes. Through all eternity. In Jesus name. Let him have to hear Jesus is Lord also. I ask and pray. In your name, now, Father, I ask this, your perfect will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I give you praise because you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. Now, Father, I don't care who knows my name. I don't care who, I, I don't, I don't even, I don't even care to be behind this camera. But this is where you put me. I want to be a servant, most of all, Lord. I pray daily you keep me humble because if I am not humble, I cannot be a servant. And I want to be a servant to all. So in Jesus' name I pray this and that your will be done. Amen. Okay, this is a short dream. Actually, it has two parts. But the first part was personal, so I will only be sharing the other part. And today is 310.23. It's 8.04 a.m. And it came on 3.823 at 7.08 a.m. It's one of those very times when I actually, I'd been up with the Lord several hours and I laid back down and woke up at 7 or 8. That don't happen often, but it was actually nice. <laughs> it's called City in the Cloud Dream. All right. My children and I are now at a prestigious preparatory Christian school. And we had somehow came with a large group of other Christians. There are about 14 to 20 people. I never get the exact account because people came and went freely on their own accord. We are sitting at a long medieval type table, wooden table, and there is a well-known pastor from a neighboring state that I've dreamed of before sitting on one side with several people, and my children and I are on the other side, three people down from him. All the people are talking about the city or castle in the sky. That prayer uncovered the right edge of it. The flooring of it apparently is invisible. I hear this pastor from a neighboring state say in awe, but also laughing, Did you see that man dressed in the suit of armor bend over, lean over, through the hole in the cloud, and it looked like part of his head was momentarily chopped off, where it had become invisible and no longer exposed? People were laughing. I looked at my kids and I realized my son is on the left side and my daughter on the right. We had witnessed this too, but we had seen much more. We saw the clouds part and saw it was more than a castle, but a thriving city. I heard from the sky these words. Everything you have read or seen in your make-believe worlds of fantasy and fiction, daughter, I told you were based on truth. You prayed and asked me, what is the people at the CERN facility trying to do? Little daughter of mine, they are bringing forth the cities of the sky that are inhabited by the fallen ones and their Nephilim children into your physical realm for the arrival of their Nephilim children and other mutated offspring to inhabit it. Cities in the sky, daughter, cities in the sky. This is also how they will with their great sizes, shall participate in the war against your once great nation, now called Babylon, by me, by heaven, as well as the attack on other nations to come. We looked around at the laughing people, my children and I, and we knew this is no laughing matter. Excuse me. 
The city was revealed so we could warn, and warn we shall do. Whether, whether anyone else does, does or not, I say, as I look at the laughing crowd wondering if anyone else will sound the alarm too. And then I awoke. The scriptures I was given, Ezekiel 31, 1, 6, Amos 3, 7, Luke eight seventeen, Isaiah 56, 9, 10, Jeremiah 6, 17, and then later I was given Isaiah 6, 8. And I want you to pray about this and realize I cannot, I do not pick or choose who comes into a dream. You know, and, and I cannot, all I can give you is a dream. Now, I do understand, to, to clarify further, because this was an answer to one of my questions. Why is CERN back on, Lord? And I was praying about the three days of darkness. Because in the three days of darkness is when the Nephilim, the demons will be released and the Nephilim children will be returned. That's what he's talking about when he says, let's see what Little daughter of mine, they are bringing forth the cities of the sky that are inhabited by the fallen ones and their Nephilim children into your physical realm for the arrival of their Nephilim children and other mutated offspring to inhabit. Those will be brought forth during the three days of darkness. Just to clear that up in case you don't understand because this was a direct dream answering my questions. And I was questioning the Lord. Okay, if they're coming in these attacks, because this is part of our judgment on the world, if they're coming, though, in the attack upon America or other nations, how in their great sizes can they get from place to place, you know, if they need to travel? I, I didn't know. But part of it is because they're in the skies and they just jump down, fly down, whatever they do. I don't know. And these seem to be everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but in different locations. All right, so with that being said... I want you to pray about it, as I do everything. Don't take my word. Seek the Lord on this. And we just have to be prepared in Him. He's coming for His bride. But if you're not prepared, and you don't make it when He returns, you're going to be facing these things. You know, and as a child of God, if you, you hear these things, you should be praying in advance for those left behind too. Okay, so we're going to have to face it in the skies, Father God. What can we pray? Holy Spirit, lead us. How can we pray against these? Is there any of them we, we can take down before that time? You know, is there any, any of them that's illegal, I guess is what I would say. Is there any that's illegal that you are, that do not have to be here during the end times? You know, start thinking strategically, Lord. What can we lessen for those left behind? What stronghold can we tear down? What can we do to help? Because it just might be your daughter. It might be, you know, your your niece, your nephew, your... That is left behind. So if you had the ability now, knowing they're going to face all these things, to help them through prayer, why would you not? And it's simple as asking, Holy Spirit, how do I pray? That's how I start my prayers. Holy Spirit, how do I pray? Lead me. Take this prayer. In Jesus' name. Everything done in Jesus' name. You know, when I say, work out your own salvation, fear and trembling, which is in the Bible, it doesn't mean I'm, I'm trying to work my way into heaven by works. It means you do the works that the Bible tells you. You read, you pray, you seek, you, you fast. You, you do what the Lord tells you to live a holy, godly life. That's what you are actually doing those things, working, doing those works, doing those things physically. I read, I pray, I seek, I fast, I sing, I worship, I, I witness, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And when the Lord tells me, you know, that America was founded on him, he's not referring to those that came here with like with the Illuminati and, and all that. He's referring to the people like you and me who had a desperate heart to seek and worship God. It doesn't matter what the hidden agenda is. You've got to look at the people. The people who had a heart to seek God and were suffering such severe persecution were willing to set out to have the freedom because they love God more than anything else. 
That's how we're supposed to be. So with that, I'm going to ask you today, if you don't know Jesus, if you're not rapture ready as I call it, you need to get there. You know, serving Jesus, it's not bondage, it's freedom. He's a love like no other. You can be in the middle of a raging storm. You can have all of a sudden be attacked by your health, have financial issues, have um, you know your daughter run away, you know, have somebody get killed, and still have perfect peace because that's the God we serve. Because He's a God of love, and He will wrap you in that love. It doesn't mean these things are going to go away. It means you don't stand in them alone. He will be with you if you will let him. And he will lead you to safety if you will let him. He will cover you in his wings. You know, Psalms 91 tells us we can abide under the shadow of his wings. The shadow of the Almighty. You know, and, and Jesus gives the an, an analogy of like a chicken. He would have covered Israel like a, like a chicken, like a, and the brood, uh, like a brood, and the, the little chicks come under, and the hen keeps them safe from storms and weather and stuff that's what our God does and more and more so if you don't know Jesus please please accept him today time's running out and even with all that's coming you don't know if you're going to have a next breath you don't know if you're going to walk out the door and something hits you we're not promised tomorrow. You're in the now, and now is the day of salvation. So if you don't know Jesus, I ask you today, accept him into your heart. To say, Jesus, come wash me clean. Forgive me of my sins. I accept you as my Savior. And then make a declaration. I believe you are the Son of God. I believe that you rose from the grave. You were born of a virgin. And I believe all power is in your name. And that's it. It's that simple. The simplicity of the gospel. Excuse me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So, if you have accepted the Lord... If you have returned, if you need prayer or have questions, we do have a prayer email. Prayer dot eight five six myjesus at gmail dot com. You can submit them there. If you don't get a response right away, not everybody gets a response, but if you don't get a response or if you've been talking and you're not getting a response, we're having some issues with our email. They're coming in. But we have People trying to hinder them coming out. Excuse me. <coughs> Some of the higher ups. Be greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. And they will get through in Jesus name. God is stepping in. And we're looking for, we're looking at for another lawyer. They got to one. But praise God. God's got the perfect one. So I'm asking you all to help us pray about that too. Okay, pray that the Lord leads us to the perfect lawyer. He's not afraid to stand up against the higher ups, and the Lord's got the perfect one. All right, with with all this, I, I want to say one more time though, for those of you that keep thinking, you know, you you're dumping your hate hate emails, professing to be Christians and speaking hate. That right there tells you your fruit's wrong, so you need prayer, and I'm praying for you. Just know you're you're piling up when there's a great need for people. And they don't come to me. They don't come to me. But it does give us your name or fake name. The Lord knows who's behind whoever puts it in. So even if you send like a Jane Doe, John Doe, whatever. The Lord's got your real name. And he reveals it. So know that we're praying for you. Praying you get delivered. Praying that your eyes get open. Pray that you get true salvation. We don't want anybody to perish, neither does Jesus.
So, God bless. Stay under the blood from Tennessee. I love you all. Bye-bye.